if someone told me this is going to be your YouTube channel, this is going to be how far you've come in four months, I would have had to laugh in their face. Hee ha ha. <laughs> Do you remember, like, little reminder, lines of sin. You remember that? Like, why, why are we fibbing? That is why shocked and surprised is an understatement of my journey this far. Hi baddies and welcome back to my YouTube channel and if you're new here, hi I'm Jade. Today we're doing a little bit of a different video because today we're talking about how YouTube has changed my life in such a short amount of time. The motivations for this channel, why I started YouTube, the different reasons why and how YouTube has changed my life, my growth, any tips or advice that I have for anybody who is like dabbling dancing with the idea of content creation or hell anybody who wants to do something that honestly like shakes them to the core like gives them nerves because that's how i feel about youtube the way youtube starting this youtube channel gave me anxieties so much so to a point i put it off for years so i'm gonna share my tips on how to get over that leap over that and what is next for me if you like to laugh you like to kiki you love a good meme you like a good joke you like a good vine reference you're all about not taking life too seriously and you're just like looking for comfort join the baddie gang join the baddie gang join the baddie gang and get comfy and hang out and stay a while baddies don't forget to like comment and subscribe and let's get into this video okay so nobody's Nobody's pulling a Molly Cyrus and hopped on a plane at LAX, moving to LA. Like, my bags are not packed for LA. <laughs> Ready to go. <laughs> no. <laughs> the main reason why I'm doing this video today is because yesterday I caught a massive surprise that had your girl crying in her feels. And I did a lot of reflecting. So, let's get all the mushy, ushy, gushy, gushy out of the way. And, oh, first of all, warning um your girl looks a mess in the video because i did not i did not know i was going to be sharing this with you guys but i feel like i gotta share it with you i have to i have to i have to it makes a lot of sense and why i decided to take this video today but chip my boyfriend andrew surprised me with a gift yesterday and yeah and roll the tapes okay i got jade a secret surprise and i put it in her hands and she has to keep her eyes closed and guess what it is look okay. he did his big one with the oh and it says jade haley yeah it does okay let's open it oh. uh, you got it i got it i got it this is so stinking cute and the bow <laughs> and I feel like this is so cute because, fun fact, Andrew's uh, handwriting is not so good. So I know he took his time to really give his cursive. It took some time indeed. Oh. Took uh, more than one try. Oh, I will say that. You have <laughs> okay, I'll show them first. <laughs> Baddies, do we like it? You can't really see it, but. Oh. Assistance, because I don't want to open my eyes. Okay. BRB. Let's see. Can you hold the camera? <laughs> Intermission. I will see this hot chip very soon. Oh my god, I lotioned my leg. And look. <laughs> mm. the spot. All right. I refuse to be ashy. It's ready. Okay. <laughs> you ready to see it? I'll capture your reaction. Right, in my here palms he here he here he oh it's fragile oh. and it's sharp you can open your eyes <gasps> oh <laughs> <laughs> oh my baby oh oh honey Like it? 
So the reason why I feel like I'm so emotional about it because I think I kept telling like my friends and Chip that like yeah I crossed a thousand subscribers but it like didn't feel real yet and if I'm being very honest I thought it would take like I think we talked about it I thought it would take like at least a year and like even then that was like my stretch goal I feel like I tell you guys all the time how like I'm grateful and I appreciate you and I love you and all that kind of stuff and like I feel like a lot of people say it but like I really mean it because like I think to most people a thousand isn't a lot but like the thing that a thousand people decided to subscribe or decided to watch my videos and decided to like keep coming back I just feel like that's like It's a little insane, it's surreal. But like a thousand of you still wanna watch mm -hmm. my videos and watch me grow. It's just Oh Chip, this is so nice. Yeah. <laughs> I know we come on my channel to laugh. Um so apologies for crying, but I don't know, I think it's just like he didn't have to do it. And then one day I'll get the real, no, not even, this is the real thing, but one day, <laughs> I'll get, like, the 100,000 plaque. Yeah. Oh, I just feel, oh, Chip. Oh, you deserve it, babes. You deserve the award. Oh, cute. And then one day I'm gonna have my office, or, like, my editing room, and... Do you need assistance? Or, I think you got it. She's in the pen. Uh, so cute. Ninning, ninning. Ninning. She's so pretty. Hi. Yeah. Look at this. I know. Out I'm, of you. I will show it. so hard. Oh, thank you. But I, can, I will continue to work hard for y'all and continue to be grateful for you all. And I feel like I couldn't do it without you. And obviously, thank you will never be enough. I always say that, so I can't wait till I get to the point where I can really like show you in different ways how grateful I am for each and every one of you baddies. Mm -hmm. As always. Absolutely. I love y'all down. Love y'all down. Bye baddies. Okay, so the goals. We have to bring out the big boy. The Labatopi. Let's start from May. It is currently August. Ah. So in the start of May, I was at 187 subscribers. And my goal was to reach 270. Your girl did that. I remember being so happy. Oh my god. And then April. Oh no, I didn't put my numbers for April. But for April, I just wanted to post twice a month. That's crazy because now I post two times a week. Oh, I know old me would have been shaking, like so happy and proud. In June of 2024 i was at 298 subscribers on june 1st i finished june at 400 subscribers i remember being like jiminy timbers girl that is insane july 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 so i was like let me do my big one for july let's make these goals bigger so my goal for july was to reach 850 subs and i said you're doing too much you're doing too much I thought I was doing too much. On July 5th, I hit a thousand subscribers. Yeah. And then I was like, okay, let me make an updated goal. So on July 7th, I was currently at 1,058 subscribers. And I said, my goal is to reach 1,200 subscribers. And I want to increase my watch time as my watch time was at 800, 1,100 watch time. I finished July at 1,672 subscribers with a watch time of 3,000. So now I gotta make new goals for August. <laughs> Let me know if any of you guys can relate that I used to cosplay YouTuber as like, as fun. Like that was my hobby to cosplay as a YouTuber. So I'd be like literally doing anything. I could be brushing my teeth and be like, hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're brushing your teeth. Or like doing my makeup. I'll be like, this is my new product. 
like that is just something i always <laughs> did and then fun fact like in elementary school i used to love watching like school supply videos and stuff like that and my mom always told me she said you should post youtube videos you should post youtube videos i think you do really well on youtube i was like mm -hmm. that seems like a great idea but <laughs> here's the thing your girl already gets bullied for being fat <laughs> i ain't trying to get i'm not trying to add I'm not trying to add to the docket. I was like, one thing at a time. <laughs> I'm st I'm <laughs> I'm trying to keep the bullying to a minimal. I was just kind of like, great idea, but I can only take one thing at a time. <laughs> so Ryan Jen, getting bullied for being fat, black, and a wannabe YouTuber. Ooh, I said, mm. double homicide, triple homicide. <laughs> and which is such a shame to think that like I was willing to, to let. The opinions of others stop me however i will say that is such a theme that a lot of us can relate to or have experienced and will continue to experience um dun -dun -dun, dun -dun -dun, one step at a time i don't know when the feeling of looking like you're trying became embarrassing one thing's for certain people are going to talk about you and people are going to talk bad about you unfortunately it's never who you think would Intermission. Okay, baddies, so grab your cups because it's tea time and we're about to spill. I found out that this girl, I don't even know to call her relationship. Um, there was just a period of time we saw each other often, but I wouldn't say we were close. Every time we saw each other, it was always good. There was never any issues between us. Never. And not even a delusional, like, be self-aware Jade. Never. Oh yeah, Jade, yeah, she's like a wannabe influencer. Like the stuff that she posts is so cringe and like blah, 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 blah. Like this is so embarrassing. Meanwhile, meanwhile, I wish I was lying. And like when I heard this, when I tell you mouth open, catching flies, shocked, stunned because she was in my TikTok comments telling me oh you're my favorite content creator. You're my favorite YouTuber. Like I love your videos, hyping me up, giving me so much love. And one thing about me is the love I get, I'm extremely grateful for. So much so to hear I become a clown. Look at me. This is my clown behavior coming. Granted, I didn't know. I didn't know that she was saying this stuff about me at all. But here you go. Welcome to the circus. Here's Jade the Clown. Hi, Georgie. I messaged her before I knew all this. I noticed that you comment a lot on my TikToks. I just want to say thank you so much. Your support means the world to me. <laughs> because it does. It does. Because like I said, I think a lot of people forget nobody needs to watch your video. Nobody needs to like your video. Nobody needs to subscribe to your video. Nobody needs to comment on your video. They don't need to do that. If they do that, they decided that I like their content enough. And I think that's huge. So like I said, I messaged her. I said, thank you so much. Thank you. It means a lot for me. Meanwhile, 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 meanwhile. Ah! They are watching my stuff and laughing at me, and I just. My friend, you is my enemy. I see my enemy when they cross me. I see my enemy when they hurt me. YouTube has taught me to one own my videos. Sure, some people are gonna say it's cringe. Hell, it might even just be cringe. Some of you might think you're annoying, loud. Blah, blah, blah. Not think you're funny. Think you're embarrassing. That's fine. But I promise you, right now, I have 1,703 baddies that subscribe to me right now that like me. Oh. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. To people who are like, mm, that's nothing. Mm. If someone put me in a room of 1,703 of the baddest <laughs> and said, do a TED talk right now, your girl is folding. I will throw up, vomit, vomit and sh** on that stage. Stuttering. That's a lot of people. I'm glad that now I'm very much kind of like when people say anything bad about me, I'm like, kick, 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 you thought. You think you're the <laughs> shit, You're not even the fart. <clears throat> like, I wanted to know the people that watch my videos and I also want them to feel like they knew me as well. I wanted to feel like they were hanging out with me and that we were actually friends, right? Like, not so much as like, I want to get this brand deal. I want to be paid for blah, 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 blah. Like, no, like, 
those are definitely the huge benefits that come with content creation but the main reason why i started posting content was because i felt alone i felt so alone and i feel like i lived a lot of life and based on like my identity i've experienced so many different things and one thing i can know for certain is a lot of people go through this world alone or with sadness or just like a lot of negative feelings and all i ever wanted to do was figure out a way i could give comfort but then also talk about things that a lot of people don't want to talk about and have these conversations that i was wished that i was able to have or like go online and find somebody who's talking about those things and that's all i ever wanted and that's why i started youtube <clears throat> i was so scared to post on youtube because i was so worried that i would fail so much so that my first ever video it took me a month of me Ding. convincing myself to post it took me a whole month a whole yeah babe 30 days <laughs> i don't know the idea of putting myself out there showing me my life my relationship i was like how i look like and today we're going to learn a new word it's called no your girl was not interested at all i was not it took me a whole month to post my first youtube video how has youtube changed my life like i said nobody is packing their bags moon la girl <laughs> no no it has helped me so much with growth and my huge journey of self-love and self-forgiveness and self-acceptance because listen girl <laughs> Self-love is a journey, but one thing I'll say for certain, your girl was sitting in the trench for a little too long. I said, girl, get out. Thank you. And I feel like YouTube definitely helped me do it. It helps with my confidence and simply not giving up. If I'm being very honest. Um, granted, I'm not fully there yet. Like sometimes when I'm out and about and filming in public, I still get jimmy my timbers and scared. However, it's a whole different ball game now. I'm a lot more confident. And then also, confident in who i am spoiler alert baddies um in person it's giving very much mute silent mime shy you would think based watching my videos she's an extrovert let me tell you no <laughs> no if i have the option to <laughs> if it's all me and my friends are out your girl is quiet 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 so i feel like youtube gave me the confidence to not hide my personality because i girl has always been so scared of what other people think and that's why i always say on my channel that baddies we're here to laugh and embarrass ourselves and simply not care and on my channel, you're gonna feel like you're hanging out with your bestie. So it's simple. Get comfy and stay a while. And like, that's all I ever wanted. Helped me with my confidence of not feeling I have to look a certain way when I come on camera, not worry too much about the angles, how I look in certain positions, down in the third. Like, if you told me your girl was gonna be running, huffing and puffing, I was that girl that, like, <laughs> in public, if I was walking up a hill, I'm hiding my breathing. You will not hear a peep. Out of my out of my big ass you would not but here i am <laughs> breathing loud and running and talking about like the struggles i'm having with eating and being vulnerable growth 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 and i like i said i honestly couldn't do without you guys i oh my god did, when i think back about how delusional i was because i used to really feel like in my bone that i there was an era of time where I was like, I'm not creative at all. I'm just kind of like, girl, like... It's one of those things where I felt like a creative path was always for me, but your girl decided to go to university, read scholarly articles, write MLA format, write essays. I did everything far from creative. I feel like now that part of me is able to flourish. Whenever your girl is feeling hoo-hoo, feeling boo-hoo, sad-sad, I start editing my video, I feel so much better. I'm kind of like, wait, I missed this. And it's kind of like... Hi, bitch. Remember me? I was like, wow, I have found my passion. Like I said, I wouldn't be able to be doing my passion if you guys weren't supporting and loving me. So like, I'm like, fuck. 
I not me being the luckiest girl in the world. Oh my god, guys, like I feel like my weight loss journey is kind of giving because the way these like these sleeves keep falling down, I'm just kind of like, gosh. Another thing that YouTube has helped me with is my perfectionism. I'm a Virgo through and through. Um, granted, I don't know smack about astrology, but one thing I heard <laughs> is that Virgo is a perfectionist. Um, don't fight me, please. Or if you do, punch lightly. <laughs> Every single time I'm about to post a video, I'm like, this is so bad. And not even in like an annoying pick me, love me, choose me, fishing for compliments way. I kid you not. Like, girl, like, I always feel like something could be so much better. Your guys' comments and love and support has really been helping me realize that, like, girl, what are you talking about? They love it, they think it's good. But granted, I'm grateful that I'm sometimes my biggest critic because it continues to help me elevate and become better. But yeah, I kid you not, every video before I post it, I have to fight myself and just be like, post it. Stop being annoying. Sometimes you'll really be your biggest enemy. Kid you not. Oof. <laughs> so for anybody who wants to take a risk or become a content creator, just do it. It's kind of like going to the gym. You wake up in the morning, you feel like you don't want to go to the gym. Nobody has ever regretted going to the gym. People only regret not going to the gym. Because let's say you don't go in the morning, later in the day you're like, shit, I should have just hauled my ass and went. First, as you go, you're like, I'm glad I went. And that's how I look at anything that makes you feel uncomfortable. Just do it. Like me, I am deathly insecure about my arms. But whenever I get the opportunity to, when I'm feeling risky, I'm gonna go outside in a tank top. Because eventually, I'm not gonna give a damn. Why am I limiting myself to potential baddie, baddie outfits? Like, why am I doing that? You wanna be a content creator? Post that video. Let's live the rest of 2024 and moving on to 2025 with no regrets. If nobody believes in you, believe in yourself. I know sometimes, like, easier said than done, easier said than done. And it's easy to not believe in yourself, but let me tell you this. Are you listening? I believe in you. I believe in you. I believe in you. As we call on, we remember. So the future of this channel, I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know. Don't know at all. However, what I do know is I'm going to keep posting. My goal is to eventually post three times a week. And I'm excited to finally get to the point where I can. But in terms of content, I'm open to suggestions, whatever the hell you guys want to see. But uh, your girl is going on some trips. So I'm excited to literally take you anywhere else but the track. <laughs> we will be switching up the scenery. The travel vlogs are about to be sick. I'm excited for you guys to see more of my life, more insider tea, more of, well, up to you, more of like, relationship content if you guys want Psst, your wish is my command more fitness weight loss because i'm about to do i'm i'm i recently set some new fitness goals and health goals so that your girl is about to be on one she's about to do her a big big one so documenting a lot of that like i'm trying to have glass skin so documenting that showing you guys what i use but granted i gotta use the products first one thing i'm gonna do is lie i'm not gonna lie and tell you i love something i'm gonna have to try these things out see if they're giving yay or throw away you know what i mean but one thing is for certain i'm excited for the journey i'm excited for the roller coaster ride whoa whoa it continues to create an amazing group of baddies and then also posting more plus size content as well like certain experiences that i had like dating friendships just life in general but then how that relates to be being like fat having more of those conversations because hell that fat experience is giving lonely sometimes especially if you're the only fatty baddie in your friend group you can feel very lonely i don't know be vulnerable be open being honest but hell girl it's only the beginning <laughs> The possibilities are endless. But I'm so grateful to share this journey with you guys. Thank you will never be enough, but thank you. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It honestly helps a ton and it means the world to me. And as always, I love you, baddies.
I'll be seeing you very soon.